What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Fry here. Today we're going to be looking at some gameplay of the brand new Call of Duty World War II beta. But before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe to Abstract for more outstanding content. So, the player you see in this video goes by the name of Post Voltage. He does get a vicious medal this game, which is pretty crazy. I believe he gets on a 33 kill streak with the STG44. Now, I have to tell you, the STG is really an insane gun. I've played the beta on and off a bit, and that is by far my favorite weapon. There's almost no recoil to it, and it's very, very quick. So right now he's pulling out a map, which is part of the fighter pilot kill streak. You choose a direction on the map that you would like to shoot the enemies on using a fighter aircraft. This is honestly one of my favorite streaks. And as you can see here, he gets two kills, which are going to give him the glide bomb. That's his next kill streak in this sequence, which is very similar to the Hellstorm or Predator missile. So he's about to get a 10 kill streak here with the next kill he gets. One thing I want to mention about World War II that's very interesting that you don't see in a lot of previous games is that the kill streaks actually count towards your metal streaks. So as you know, a vicious metal is about 30 kills, and those kill streaks are going to allow him to build up to that. Whereas on Black Ops 3, if you wanted to get a nuclear, they all had to be gun kills. This is a little bit different, which is going to make it honestly a little bit easier to get that vicious metal. And just for the record, for everyone who hasn't played the Call of Duty beta yet, this is called Arden Force. It's an amazing snow map. I think a lot of you will enjoy it if you haven't played it already. Tell me what you think about this map and the other maps so far in the Call of Duty beta in the comments below. I would love to hear from you in that. So as you can see here, he gets his UAV with this kill or the recon aircraft, whatever you want to call it, which means he's very close to doubling up on his other streaks. Now let's talk about this submachine gun he just picked up. It's called the Type 100. It's very quick, easy to use, and almost no recoil. It's one of my favorite submachine guns. PPSH is probably next. But watch him just go in this spawn right there. Honestly, that's not as easy as it looks. Even though there isn't a whole lot of recoil, you have to maintain your accuracy in this game. So he's going to get another double kill here with that glide bomb, get a guy in this corner, then he's going to call in his fighter pilot so i believe this is probably one of the most interesting parts of this gameplay he's calling in his fighter pilot like i mentioned before right here now watch so he's gonna get three kills here yes a triple kill right that's three kills he's gonna get his fighter pilot again and guess what he gets another three kills another triple kill that's gonna give him his glide bomb from last time this is insane this so this is where he's getting a lot of his kills here that's six and now he's going to call in his glide bomb here, probably get a double kill, and that's going to be eight kills just through streaks. Now, I want to let you know, it's kind of easy to get this 30 kill streak with a lot of these streaks, but in order to get the streaks, you got to get the kills. So it kind of balances out, but it's a little bit easier, again, than, like I said before, like Black Ops 3, where they all had to be gun kills. But kills like that, that just happened, that triple, and even that quad right there, that's kind of hard to do. It's not easy. You have to maintain your accuracy and you got to be smart. But ladies and gentlemen, this video is at an end. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you thought it was entertaining as I did. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Fry and I am out.